Alright everyone, okay, today we are going to look into percentage. So basically, a percentage is actually a fraction whose denominator, alright, which is the bottom part of the fraction, is based on a hundred. So what it actually means is everything in percentage is actually based upon 100. So it's something upon 100. Okay, let's take a look at a value. Let's say we say something is 30%. When you say 30%, or right, based on the previous uh, definition, is actually 30 upon 100. So, in simply place it, okay, if I have a row of bar here, okay, and if this represent a hundred, the whole length represent hundred, then 30 upon 100 will be this red portion over here. If that is the case, right, then let's take a look at 50%. All right. So, what will 50% be in terms of fraction? Well, it will be 50 upon 100. So, again, if I use the bar to represent the 100, then all this part over here will be 50. But 50 over 100 can also be simplified as 1 over 2. If you take 50 and you divide it by 100, you actually get half or 1 over 2, which actually equals to this bar. See, half of it is being shaded in red, this half, and then the other half is, well, is still basically gray color. Okay, and 1 over 2 can also be represented as 0 0.5, which is actually 50 over 100. So you can represent it as a percentage, 50%, or a fraction, right? either 50 over 100, or in this case, you can actually write half which is 1 over 2 or a decimal value such as 0 0.5 so this little table okay will tell us the relationship between percentage so up here I have the 10 20 30 40 all the way up to 100 percent the fraction will be in the middle so you have 10 over 100 20 over 100 30 over 100 40 over 100 50 over 100 60 over 100 70 over 100 80 over 100 90 over 100 and 100 over 100 why if we just uh, take the percentage and make it into fraction but if we take this and we actually divide it we will get 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, okay, so this one will be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 100 over 100 will be 1, or 1 1.0. So there is actually a very clear relationship between percentage, fraction all right and of course the decimal okay that you can see in this small little table here so if i want to express 1.5 okay as a percentage okay what will happen the answer will actually be 150 percent how do i get this answer 
Well, firstly, the 1 is already 100%. Remember, 100 over 100 is 1. So it's already 100. Then if we remember the previous few slides, we actually look at 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is actually 50. Okay, because at the back of the decimal, I can actually add another 0. 50 over 100. Okay, which is 50%. So 1.5 is actually 150%. Uh, there's an exercise here, all right? But uh, of course, if you want some time to think it through, you probably will need to uh, pause the video, all right? Then you will have some time to actually work on it before I give the answer and as well as the working. So the amount of a good or service is hundred percent. Right, and there is a GST of 7%. Okay. It will look something like this. So when you say there is a GST of 7%, basically means that the price is actually higher. It actually pushed the price higher. Right, so the good is actually 100%. Right, so you are paying for the good. And you're also paying for the tax, which is a GST tax of an additional 7%. This actually means that your price that you pay will actually be 107%, which is basically the 100 plus the 7% up here. Okay, now if we look at a question, okay, so let's say Alicia, I paid uh, $96.30 for a badminton racket, inclusive of 7% GST, all right, so it's inclusive, later we look into this, so what was the cost of the racket before GST? So again, if you want some time to actually uh, practice or try this question out, then uh, please pause the video here, okay? Because uh, after this, I will actually go through the steps as well as the answer. So basically, Alicia paid $96.30. For the badminton racket, inclusive of the 7% GST. So the whole price, which is this whole price, okay, which is 107%, is $96.30, which is the amount that is paid. So if 107% is $96.30, then I can calculate how much is 1%. By taking $96.30, divide it by 107. Okay, and uh, you can punch this in into your calculator, right? and you will get 1% is 90 cents. So now I have 1%. I want to know the cost of the racket. The cost basically means this 100% here, not including the GST, just this 100% here. So if I know 1% is 90 cents, then I can actually find out how much is 100%. So it's actually 90 cents, 100 times. So the cost of the racket is actually $90. Okay. Now, here, 
is uh, another exercise okay which is the usual price of a bag is $80 right. there is a 20% discount what is the discount of the bag right. so the bag price okay is $80 right. so the 100% is actually $80 okay if the 100% is $80, then I will be able to know what is 1%. Same as what we did just now. Take the $80, divide by 100, and I will get 1% is actually 80 cents. Alright. But the question one is to find the discount and there's a 20% discount so 20% discount 1% is 80 cent so 20 of this so I'm multiplying the right, I will get $16 so the discount is actually $16 all 